slowly but surely, or maybe not so slowly, AI will keep getting better. And the day will come when AI will do all of our, all the things that we can do. Not just some of them, but all of them. Anything which I can learn, anything which any, any one of you can learn, the AI could do as well. How do we know this, by the way? How can I be so sure? How can I be so sure of that? The reason is that all of us have a brain, and the brain is a biological computer. That's why. We have a brain, the brain is a biological computer. So why can't a digital computer, a digital brain, do the same things? This is the one sentence summary for why AI will be able to do all those things. Because we have a brain and the brain is a biological computer. And so you can start asking yourselves, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when computers can do all of our jobs, right? Those are really big questions. Those are dramatic questions. And right now, like you start thinking about it a little bit, you go, gosh, that's a little intense. But it's actually only part of the intensity. Because what's going to happen? What, what will V, the collective V, want to use these AIs for? Do more work, grow the economy, do R&D, do AI research. So then the rate of progress will become really extremely fast, for some time at least. These are such extreme things. These are such unimaginable things. So right now I'm trying to pull you into that a little bit, into this headspace of this really extreme and radical future that AI creates. And the challenge that AI poses in some sense is the greatest challenge of humanity ever. And overcoming it will also, have the, will also bring the greatest reward and in some sense, whether you like it or not, your life is going to be affected by AI to a great extent. And so looking at it, paying attention, and then generating the energy to solve the problems that will come up, that's going to be the main thing. And I'll stop here. Thank you so much.